Don't think I'll ever get used to this. Trust me, you do. So in 2013, what happens when I get to 14? Well, you can start one of the pathways. Or, if you're not quite ready yet, you can start one of the foundation tier learning programmes, tell it to what you want to do. This will help you up the ladder to universities and employment. And then when I'm 16, I'm ready to leave school. Leave school at 16? That's not going to happen. What do you mean? Well, in 2013, you don't leave school until you're 17. And by 2015, you won't be able to leave until you're 18. But for some people, that'll be like a jail sentence. Change your desk till you're 18. Not change to your desk. The idea is that you'll be in education or training. You can work from school, college, or even with an employer part-time on job training. The important thing is to get those skills that you're gonna need to get a good job or get on in life. So let me get this straight. In 2013, I'll be able to choose a learning pathway that suits the way I like to learn, and choose the subjects that'll help me get the necessary skills for my future. And I'll be able to learn at school, at home, at college, or on the job. Yes, and you'll get the opportunity to go on work experience or work-related activities that are relevant to what you want to do in the future. Of course, if this were a DVD you were watching, you'd be able to put it into a computer, look at the screen in detail, and click on other links and websites relevant to this film. So much choice, but I can still do the GCSE and A-level route, right? Of course, this route is staying, and it's right for some, like those who thrive on more academic or traditional ways of teaching. Nothing wrong with that. The GCSE and A-level qualifications will change a bit, bringing in those more necessary key skills, like the other qualifications. And they have also introduced something called an extended project, where you choose to research a project on something you're really keen on. And it will be managed like a real research project you might do at university or work, which will give you half an A-level. That sounds like fun. You can choose all different lines of learning in engineering, creative media, information technology, social health and development, construction and the build environment, hair and beauty, environmental and land-based studies, manufacturing and product design, hospitality and catering, business administration and finance, sports and leisure, retail, public services, travel and tourism, science, modern foreign languages and humanities. Oh, my head hurts just thinking about it. All those choices for me. Don't worry, you've still got five more years before all of this happens. And I know it sounds weird, but you'll have lots more opportunities to help you find your route. Plus you'll have the support from your teachers, connections advisors, learning mentors, and your parents to help you make the right choice. My head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been a tough few minutes. <laughs> so I think a little time travel is in order, come on. I know, I know, we're going back to the future. Actually, we're going back to the train station. Well, we're back to where we started. And um, before my travel poll comes, I better submit my history project. What can I say? It's been fun. You're an amazing avatar and I'll miss you. But hang on, will learning be better in 2013 then? Well, it's not just what you will want, it's what everybody will want. But hang on, you've been there. What do you think? What's not to like? In 2013, I'll be able to choose a learning pathway that suits the way I like to learn and choose a subject that will help me get the necessary skills for my future. And I'll be able to learn at school, at home, at college and at work. Kind of like that advert I saw at the cinema. What advert? It goes something like, I can choose when I want to learn, what I want to learn, and where I want to learn. I can liberate my learning. I get it now. Well, I'm going to be late for school, might as well catch up on reading. 